Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at the translate feature in Word. So on the screen, I have a document with some text in English, Spanish, German and French. Now the translate feature is on the review tab and it is only in certain versions of Word. This is the Office 365 version. You drop the little down arrow there, you can see translate selection if i click on that it opens a pane i haven't got any text selected so nothing shows until i highlight something so there's the english text and as i move my mouse through this english text at the moment it's selected to dutch but if i change that to a different language from this drop down arrow so i come down to let's go for french you can see as you move your cursor across different words, it highlights the same word underneath. Now, if I scroll down this list, you can click on a, a word. So if I click on a word on, say, this word, that then removes the paragraph, shows you that word in English, and then again, it shows you the word in French. And underneath there, you've got a down arrow, which gives you some more options to look at. So there you've got the option there and what it is in French, hopeless, what that is in French and the further information further down. So when you click on different words, the same information appears. You've also got this insert feature, which is what I'm going to use now. So if I highlight this paragraph again, that's the whole paragraph. And what I can do is make a space and then click insert and that paragraph in French will appear below the English paragraph. Now in Word you have a feature called read aloud which has been around for quite a while. In the past you had to add it up to the top on your quick access toolbar which I've got already. But now you've got it on this tab. If I click on that this is reading it out. You can't hear it um, because I've got my speaker unplugged, but basically that is reading out each word on the on the screen there. Now, when you get that to read out the French, it's not very good. Uh, I'm not a great speaker of the French language, but I do know that it doesn't sound like whatever this is, if it's a robotic word. It's bad enough in English speaking it, but at least you can understand it. I think the French and then the German is very difficult. It's um, It doesn't put it in context, but it's still a feature you can use to check um, whether you've got the grammar right and things like that. But let's have a look at the other paragraph. So there's a Spanish paragraph. If I highlight that, it's changing that to French. So I don't want it into French. I want it into English. And then you can see what that says so that was a quote about um marcelo bielsa the leads manager it's quite a nice quote on one of the comments and then if i highlight the german text this is just a quote from the newspaper you can see straight away it converts it to english and then the one for for french french to english so you can change whichever language you've got selected to look at lots of different languages. All the way down there's a huge list of different languages. So for schools, this is quite cool. If you're doing a French course or a German course and you need to translate stuff or see what the word means, like I've already done, you can just click on the word and then it will give you that meaning in the different language so if I go for what haven't I done let's go for Greek yes well I wouldn't better pronounce that but there you go let's what does that mean yeah so Greek is quite a difficult language I think um, to understand so I'll put that back to something slightly easier for me anyhow which is German um, to click on a word and it just tends you down. You can also highlight a phrase to bend down there. So then the words make more sense. 
and then you've got the different options down the bottom there for German as I've shown you already. So this is a feature that's available in certain versions of Office 365 Word and not necessarily in other versions such as Office 2016 or 2019. Uh, depends what version you've got. Anyhow, that's all I want to talk about for today. That was a translator in Word. So thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.